Hey everybody, uh, it's just a quick video, nothing too big, nothing that extraordinary, but I've got claimed on another video. Yeah, it happened again. Um, the issue I take with this one is that it's blocked everywhere. No one's going to be able to watch the video, which is deeply uh, disheartening to hear. And I'm going to explain the situation right now to you guys. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So if you watched my initial D video, the It's Q Rejection A Lie video, which I really liked making, especially the intro and the ending part, that was really funny. And the domo uh, spinning around word, that was pretty fun to make. And it was just a video about It's Q's rejection and stuff, and how I was like, oh, there's a, a plot hole here. Did they know before it had actually happened? Time travelers, doppelgangers. Yeah, anyways, it was a really uh, bad, funny video. But uh, the AVEX group gave me a claim and I'll show you guys footage. It'll just be looping footage. You guys can keep a track of that. The AVEX uh, company, AVEX Incorporated, blocked my video worldwide with their claim. And I do play a selection of what exactly they matched and claimed. Uh, hopefully that doesn't make this video get claimed either. I hope not. If it does, I'll just re-upload this without the sound. But yeah, AVEX has blocked me in all countries. Audiovisual content of 158 to 325. And that should be some of the audio. That's why I didn't say anything. But yeah, um, I can follow the dispute, which I do plan to do. Probably going to go with that one. But uh, I want to know if um, anyone else has dealt with this type of stuff from AVEX Incorporated or if anyone else has dealt with this in the Initial D community by using, their initial, by using Initial D clips, do they get blocked worldwide also? If you do, please let me know what you've done to remedy this in the comment section down below. I'm thinking of just cutting out that part entirely or remixing it, making it uh, a little different so the YouTube uh, algorithm recognizer can't claim it. You know what I'm saying, guys? But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for what I should do with this, because I really want this video to be available worldwide. I, I like sharing this stuff with you guys this funny stupid shit i do so yeah uh that's all right now uh i got a new laptop been using this to make new videos uh downloading more programs and stuff ending ended up getting malware <laughs> from a uh program i was using on my old computer and it turns out that the cracked version didn't give me any malware at all so yeah uh, keep that in mind sometimes the cracked versions are more safer than the legit versions of the software you want to use but yeah, all of that's been fixed now. We're all good. I uh, got rid of that with my uh, antivirus malware thing. We all Gucci now. But yeah, guys, I'm just asking if any of you have dealt with this before and how do you deal with it? And if I do make a claim, what should I put in there? Should I put the generic um, uh, fair use clause that everyone seems to copy and paste? Or what do you guys do in the situation? Really don't want this video to be blocked worldwide. Also, I did get my other video blocked worldwide as well. My top five lonely driver moments. If you haven't seen that video, I would have said to go check that out. But unfortunately, you can't check that out because it's blocked worldwide. Uh, hopefully, I can get that back too as well. But yeah, um, let me know in the comment section down below or PM me. Send me a private message on YouTube. You go to my about section and you should be able to hit me up with a private message. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm open to ideas on how to combat this. Uh, let me know if you guys have experienced before or have heard of people doing successful things with this. Yeah, it's a real bummer. I don't want my videos being blocked worldwide. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. That's all for now.